money actually is everything but on some rare occasion money becomes that very thing that you have and that is going to take you to a place where you never want to be money sometimes takes you takes you to jail you might have money and then you think that because you have money you can do as you want you can do as you please thinking that money is going to give you all the joy the happiness money is going to keep you safe but money can take you to a place where you've never wanted to be by the way if you've not subscribed to my channel now is the time to subscribe we keep saying this all the time we keep asking you guys to subscribe it's free there's no reason why if you don't have or you have a youtube channel you shouldn't subscribe to my channel come on all in one box let's open the box what have you got today this couple from nigeria wealthy have all the money in the world all the luxury but some things you cannot buy just leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think are a senator in Nigeria's National Assembly. You have held high political office. You had many staff, including domestic staff, maids, chefs and drivers. You own multiple properties around the globe. There is evidence of as many as 40. 40 properties. More than £400,000 went into your bank account over a six month period. By contrast, C That's a million was in unable India. to afford a £25 fare to travel from Lagos to Abuja. You each conspired together to bring C to the UK in order to exploit him. You all knew that was unlawful. You, Ike Kramadu, had been part of the legislature that had introduced the law that made that conduct a criminal offence in Nigeria. Oh. You, Abina Abeta, secured the visa. You did so by telling a lie that C and Sonia were cousins, the same lie that you had told in respect of you and your donor. You also secured a fabricated affidavit testifying to their relationship as cousins, just as you had done for your transplant. You, E.K. Ramadu, also fall within the high culpability bracket. You also played a leading role in the offending, and to a greater extent than Obina Obeta, who was acting through Diwe Ekramadu at your direction. You did so in order to secure a material advantage, namely a human kidney for your daughter. Mm. You were involved in a high degree mm. of planning and premeditation. For example, you orchestrated... They were trying to buy a kidney for their Diwe. daughter. You sought to conceal your link to the payment of a donor reward by instructing a member of your staff to make the payment via a currency trader. You were involved in the corruption of a member of hospital staff. I reject the defence suggestion that you were naive as to offers or payments of a reward to the donor or that you only joined the conspiracy at a late stage. I am satisfied so that I am sure that you were the driving force throughout. Reliance is placed on the fact that you had no contact with C or Abina Abeta. That is true, but it is, an indicator, but it is an indicator of the leading role you played, directing the overall operation, but keeping your distance by getting others to do your bidding. I accept that you were not directly involved in the fabrication of an affidavit and that you told Sonia not to sign it. Again, in context, that is consistent with the type of leading role you played. 
you well knew the sorts of steps that were being taken to try and pull the wool over the eyes of the doctors and regulators. I am satisfied that you, Beatrice Ekramadu, performed more limited functions under the direction of your husband. You know what? Accept the submission it's a crime, Hindu but King's it's counsel. tough to be a parent. Your family was having a child and you were deferential to your husband. That is having similar role issue, primarily health issues and not being able to help. Lie. If you're a parent, we might blame them, you but if you are a parent and you have that amount of money, you will do whatever it takes for your you committed the offence in the expectation or daughter. of a so material advantage, namely securing it's the law, a kidney for your daughter. But it's tough Your one. case falls at the cusp of lower... I've got a daughter, I'll do whatever it takes if she has a problem. Before and sometimes allowing for we might just do things that are wrong, factors, that might make things worse for starting points, both of us, for all of us, for the parent, the daughter and the whole family. Abeta, but ten years as a parent, months, again, case of you do whatever Ekramadu, it takes for your and son six or daughter. In the that case is, that is absolutely true. Ekramadu. Abina Abeta, stand up, please. There are aggravating features in your case. You deliberately targeted a victim who was particularly vulnerable due to his young age, his isolation how, how from his immediate family, and his poverty. After the conspiracy to exploit C was That's thwarted, exploitation. you continued to try and find another person to be exploited in the same way. As against that, you have no previous convictions and you are a person of good character. I accept that you have done much good work as a medical doctor. A medical doctor. You also have your own serious medical condition. Oh. As someone who is himself undergone a kidney transplant, oh. I've taken account of the medical evidence. That does not suggest that your condition cannot be adequately managed in custody. I consider that the mitigating and aggravating factors are in balance. I sentence you to 10 years imprisonment, subject to allowing for the time for which you have been remanded in custody. You will spend two thirds of that time in custody and will then be on license until the end of your sentence. You can sit down, please. So she will spend uh, Senator E.K. Do stand up, please. Or two and there a half. are substantial aggravating features in your case. You knew that the donor was vulnerable because of his young age and his poverty. You had a profound understanding of the impact of poverty because of the work you have done for the ECOA Foundation. You gave direct instructions to ensure that the oh. tight control was exercised over C. Once the transplant did not go ahead, you immediately sought to find another person to be exploited in the same way, rapidly managing to identify several potential candidates. As against that, you have your own ongoing health problems. Mm. You have no previous convictions and were a person of good... So the whole family has got a health problem. I accept Mr. Hicks KC's description of you as having exceptionally positive good character and that your conviction represents a very substantial fall from grace. You set up the ECOA Foundation and have fun funded that organisation which undertakes a very great deal of valuable charitable work to help those living in poverty in Nigeria. At trial, there was a great deal of character witness testimony, including from Archbishop Emmanuel Chukwuma, the Archbishop for the Diocese of Enugu. I have been provided with a bundle of 51 pages of character statements for the purpose of sentencing. Wow. I have read all of them. They include statements from a former president of Nigeria, the current president of the Senate, 
the Bishop of Enugu, the Attorney General and the Chief Law Officer of Nigeria, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. That evidence speaks to your role in helping to establish and maintain democracy in Nigeria, and also as an international peacemaker. That was desperation. The uh, evidence also includes moving pleas advanced by some of those who have benefited from your generosity and good works, and also a moving statement from your daughter, Sonia. I take all of that into account. I take all of that into account. It amounts to substantial mitigation. You were motivated by the despair of your daughter's very serious illness. The weight to be attached we to all we do the factor we all we, is limited we, we by all reason do the of the fact that the if you recognised in your evidence and our son or daughter has got a kidney a genuinely problem that needs a transplant, transplant. We will, including from a family we will go member, to the ends of the earth albeit not to get somebody to be to a transplant, definitely. After taking account of the might be illegal, and might be wrong. factors in your case, I impose parents a sentence of nine years and eight months imprisonment, subject to allowing for the time which you have spent remanded in custody. You will serve two-thirds of the sentence in custody and will be in li on license thereafter for the rest of the sentence. You can sit down. Dr. Beatrice Ekramadi, would you stand up, please? In your case, I adopt a starting point of six years' custody. I do not consider that the aggravating factors that are present in the case of your co-defendants apply to you. You were not directly involved in the identification of the donor, and the evidence does not show that you were directly involved in the attempts to identify a further donor after the transplant did not go ahead. I take account of all the mitigating features that Mr. Mahindru KC has identified and the content of the thorough and helpful pre-sentence report prepared by Jessica Stephen of the Probation Service. You are a person of good character. You helped set up the ECOA Foundation with your husband and you have been closely involved with its important charitable work. Much of the character evidence I have read applies also to you. You were also motivated by the desperate plight of your daughter and by maternal love. Further, in your case, I accept that although Sonia is an adult, you have substantial caring responsibilities towards her. Your incarceration will have a significant impact on her in that she will no longer be able to rely on your presence as a source of care and support. Having regard to those factors, I impose a sentence of four years and six months imprisonment. You have spent 234 days on an electronically monitored curfew between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. I specify that the credit period for the purposes of Section 240A of the Criminal Justice Act 2003 is 117 days.